Welcome back guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. Uh, in this video, I wanna cover how I clean my pipes. Now, a few years ago, I did put out a video on this and I did show you how I regularly clean my pipes and not that much different than I used to be, but there have been some changes. So earlier this year, I was able to sit down uh, with dinner with Eddie Gray from the Pipe Nook. And uh, one of the things that I brought up was how I clean my pipes and him being far more knowledgeable than I am when it comes to pipe and pipe tobacco, he, he made the comment, you're, you're probably cleaning them more than you need to, or especially the way I was cleaning them. So um, I, I took his words to heart, his, um, his uh, correction, and I did correct how I did things, or I did adjust how I did things, and I've been very happy with the way my pipes have turned out, yet I'm doing less work. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I do clean my pipes, and there's gonna be two different stages of cleaning my pipes, and I'll show you that. Uh, but it, let me say up front, this is just one way to clean pipes. And it's probably gonna look similar to other guys like Mutton Chop, but uh, they probably have distinctions as well, and that is okay, there's one way to skin a cat. Pick a way, and if you like it, great, go with it. Um, if it seems like your pipes are staying in good condition, if they, uh, they the taste is okay um, after you've cleaned them, even the smell immediately after you clean them, if it smells like, hey, that sound smells somewhat clean, great, go with it, um, or make changes if you want to. So uh, I wanna bear, let you bear that in mind as, as we go forward. There's more ways to do this, but I'll show you how I do it. I'll get the camera more in a direction on my tables. So that way you can um, have a better idea of what I do. All right, guys, so here I have this poker, and this poker I smoked yesterday a few times. I wanna use this as an example. Now, I'm gonna let you know up front. I just recorded this. I just showed you everything I do, and then I realized I did not have my volume on. So apologies, you're going to be looking at a clean pipe, but let's pretend it's not clean, okay? Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll show you all I go through. Now, I just cleaned, let's say I just smoked this pipe, all right? I just went through and I'm going to clean out the, the dottle and, and ash inside here and knock it out um, into an ashtray or so. So I'm going to set it aside maybe uh, and, and smoke another pipe. I usually smoke two at a time in a day and I'll go back and forth. Um, and after I smoke this pipe, I'm going to go ahead and take a pipe cleaner, and this is a tapered one. You can go with the regulars. I probably prefer the regulars, but I use both. And I'm going to go ahead and put it through the stem and shank, all the way to what gets to the edge of the bowl. All right, so you're going to see it right there inside the bowl. That's as far as I want to go. I don't want to go all the way like that and push it against the set, uh, the side. Um, just right there. I want to mark it with my fingers, run it through, pull it out. If it, you know, it's probably going to be dirty. It is, and run it through the other way and clean it, same thing. And I might do it a few times, you know, get a two, three more. And that's it, I'm gonna set it aside and I'll come back to this uh, in the same day. And I'll do it two, three, maybe four times. I'll smoke this pipe, but then I notice this pipe's not smoking as good as it used to. It needs a rest. You need to determine that yourself. It's somewhat subjective. I'm sure some guys smoke it eight, nine times in a day. Great, I see a difference. I can tell in the taste of, of, the, of the pipe tobacco and I know it needs to rest all right so that you might only smoke your pipe one or two times in a day if that's the case I would go ahead and take this step where I'm gonna clean my pipe and I'm gonna be planning to set it aside for a week in my rotation so this is where I am going to uh, change things up from what I used to do um, you know based on Eddie Gray's recommendation that I have followed so far with good results and satisfaction um, I'm not going to use an uh, in-depth uh, process with solutions and things like that. All I'm going to do is, first off, get a rag. It can be a piece of a shirt like this or an actual rag. And you can tell I've used this a bit. And I'm going to like put my finger through the top and I'm going to dab it with saliva in my mouth. I'm going to clean the top of the ridge, the plateau. All right, on top. And I'm going to just take off any char, any, any residue at all. And I might do that twice, you know, just to keep it clean. All right. Then I am going to take this solution and I'm going to dab it into the solution, a pipe cleaner, and I'm going to just clean the mouthpiece. All right. Just make sure it's ready for the next time. All right. I do want to be a little uh, sanitized and all that and just clean off any gunk. And then after I'm done with that part, I am just going to go ahead and run pipe cleaners through. And I usually, you know, if it's a straight pipe, you don't have to take off the stem from the shank. 
Um, you might, depending if it doesn't line up well. Some pipes don't line up well, so it just like, kind of stops. Well then, you know, carefully take it apart and clean both sides. And I'm gonna show you how I do that in a moment. But let's say I don't need to do that, and I don't with this pipe. So I'm gonna safely put it back in. And I'm gonna do what I did in the midst of smoking the pipe. I'm gonna reg you know, uh, regularly uh, clean it through, going all the way to the edge of the bowl, inside like this. And I'm gonna clean this multiple times doing this method, all right? Like that, and I'm gonna run it back the other way and then be done with that pipe cleaner and take another pipe cleaner and do the same thing until it is fairly clean where it's nothing's really coming out of that. And that's it, that's really all I'll do with this pipe, nothing else. I'll set it aside for a week because that's my rotation. I smoke two pipes in a day. I have a 14 pipe you know, rotation. Two in a day, I'll come back to it usually around a week or so, all right? So let's say I just came back to it, smoking this pipe again. I set it down, I do my middle of the pipe cleaning uh, or middle of the day cleaning, do it two, three, four times. I know I'm done with this pipe. And this time I'm gonna go into a deeper cleaning, okay? So then, I should have showed you this earlier. I'll also do this. I'll take a pipe cleaner. I'll do this in the first type of cleaning I showed you when I'm gonna be putting it away for a week. All right, so I should have shown you that. I'm gonna put a pipe cleaner into a U-shape and press it all the way down to the bowl. All right, and I'm gonna make sure the sides are touching, uh, the pipe cleaner are touching the sides, and I'm gonna twist it, take out any loose dottle and the ash, okay? And there's not much there, uh, but it was a lot cleaner as you can, dirtier as you can imagine. But what I'm doing is taking away the loose dottle and ash. Uh, so that way it's fairly clean inside. You're not taking away the carbon cake. It, it's, you can't do that so easily with just pipe cleaner. And it's not gonna smell up my study or my, my office, all right? And that's another reason why I do this. This does a tremendous uh, difference in keeping your room smelling fairly clean. So I'll do that. If I need to do it twice, I'll do it twice. Then I'll go ahead and remove the stem from the shank. Softly so, lightly twisting it. I'll take my cleaner. What this is, it's in an alcohol, isopropyl alcohol uh, bottle. It is one part Listerine or mouthwash, two parts, or excuse me, three parts Everclear. All right, 190 proof Everclear. It's cheap, it does a job, it gives a good cleaning. The only thing be aware of, do not get it on the outside of your pipe. It will, it can damage, uh, remove the finish or varnish, and you wanna be aware of that, all right? Do not do that, you wanna be careful. So, I'll take a pipe cleaner, and I'll just slightly dip the tip of it in there, as so, and if I need to, I'll clean the outside with it first of the mouthpiece. All right, if it's cleaned up, I'll go ahead and run the pipe cleaner in there. Now I have this tapered you know, pipe cleaner. They're not the easiest to put in through the mouthpiece sometimes, so just be aware of that. Um, and I'll go ahead and run it through. That's so. All right, and I might use the other end that is not as dirty and I'll dip it in the cleaner and I'll clean the tin in. All right, so let's clean up the tin in like that and then I'm pretty much done with this pipe cleaner, so I'll get another one. And I might dip it in again in this cleaner and I'll run it through. All right, so do that a few times. Uh, you can get more pipe cleaner, keep going. You may not, you know, after a second time, you probably don't need solution. You just need to run cleaners through it, all right? Pipe cleaners. And you can run a few through. And after it is cleaned up, you're not getting much, you're, you're done with this piece. So you can set it off to the side. We're gonna focus on the bowl and shank. All right, so I have this tapered pipe cleaner. I'm gonna, I can dip it in, just the tip, and I'm gonna clean the mortise, all right? This is the mortise here. I'm gonna just clean that up to the bowl, you know, get the sides, um, and if you, you can go ahead and, and put it all the way through the bowl if it's not too dirty, right up to the edge of the bowl as before. You know, run it through, boom, all right? And then you can go ahead and use this clean side. Do the same thing. If, if it's cleaned, you can even dip it into the cleaner again and run in towards the bowl, all right? Right there. So, another way I don't wanna use, waste up my pipe cleaners. Usually this part here is gonna be cleaned. So, bend it, all right? Just, just bend it in a, in a U shape. I'll go ahead and use this one like this. 
and you can even dip it in solution and clean the mortise well. And you'll get whatever residue there is. All right, so after you do that, you, you'll use a few more pipe cleaners. Clean the inside of that bowl. You might dip it two more times into your solution. And then after that, you probably just need to go ahead and run dry cleaners until it is coming out fairly clean. After that is done, it's cleaned. The inside is finished. You can softly insert the stem to the shank, line it up. All right, and then I'm gonna go on to putting on some this. I have this Decatur brand. I don't have a preference on brand. This Decatur No Buff Wax. I wanna be sure to keep this nice and clean. I'll barely put in any on this rack. So I have this another piece of shirt that I've been using for years. And it, I sometimes I don't even have to mix, put it into this uh, solution or uh, this, this wax. It's been used so long. So I'll just get a dab and I'll just rub it over my pipe. Keep it clean. And there we go. All right, guys, that is basically all I do. That is the deeper cleaning I do. I'll put it away for a week, I'll come back to it, and I'll smoke it. And I'll do the, you know, more shallow cleaning, if you will, after I'm done with the pipe for the day, put it away. And then the next week, I'll do this deeper cleaning. All right, if you have questions, comments, please leave them below. Hopefully that was, that was clear enough, uh, and I was able to, to show you everything you need to for, for understanding. One thing I did not explain was this is my ashtray. All right, so just, uh, you can use, uh, you know, European pipe tins. They're, they're great, they're easy, they're metal, so you don't have any concern of it burning through um, the container or anything like that. So I meant to show you that earlier and I forgot, but there you are. All right, that's my pipe, or my ashtray. Very cheap and ready to go. All right, guys, that is all I have. Uh, I hope it was helpful and hope you're doing well. And we'll talk to you very soon.